cell cycle is the most fundamental and important process by which eukaryotic cells duplicate and divide. This video will talk about the method to analysis the cell cycle. What is cell cycle? Cell cycle refers to the set of events through which a cell grows, replicates its genome, and ultimately divides into two daughter cells through the process of mitosis. There are two phases in the cell cycle, interphase and mitosis. Mitosis, the M phase, is a division of chromosomes in a eukaryotic cell. There are four stages in mitosis, 1. Prophase, 2. Metaphase, 3. Anaphase, and 4. Telophase. The cell spends the longest time in prophase. Interphase has three stages, G1, S, and G2. The G stands for a gap, with G1 the first gap, and G2 the second gap. During G1, the daughter cells almost double in size, make new endoplasmic reticulum, new components of the cytoskeleton, new mitochondria, etc. During S phase, DNA is synthesized. After S phase, a chromosome is composed of two identical molecules of DNA, called cystochromatids. During the G2 phase, the cell gets ready to go through mitosis, setting up all of the components that the cell will need to divide, in particular, the machinery to separate the two strands of DNA in each chromosome from each other. Prophase is the first stage of mitosis. This is when the chromatin condenses into two rod-shaped structures called chromosomes in which the chromatin becomes visible. In metaphase, the chromosomes become lined up in the center of the cell. Initially, chromosomes are scattered all over the cell. Microtubules attach to the kinetochores and then lengthen and shorten until all of the centromers are aligned in the center of the cell. Once the centromere separates and the cystochromatids are detached from each other, the cell then enters anaphase. In anaphase, the chromosomes rapidly move away from the middle of the cell as the microtubules shorten, pulling the cystochromatids apart and toward opposite poles. Once the cystochromatids separate, we call each a chromosome. The cell enters telophase, the last stage of mitosis. The nuclear membrane begins to reappear around each new set of chromosomes. The chromosomes begin to diffuse again, and the spindle apparatus breaks down. Because the amount of DNA in a cell shows characteristic changes throughout a cycle, techniques known as cell cycle analysis can be used to separate a population of cells according to the different phases of cell cycle they're in, based on their varying DNA content. The simple protocol for cellular analysis is outlined in the chart. Briefly, Cells are fixed and permeabilized to allow the dyes to enter the cell and to prevent them being exported out. Staining with the DNA binding dye then occurs. After cells have been treated with RNAs. To ensure only DNA is being measured. Several data sets are collected to ensure only single cells are measured. Cell cycle assay is useful for scientific research. By combining genetic manipulations with cell cycle analysis. Scientists study roles of specific proteins in cell cycle progression. Using cell cycle analysis, scientists can compare progression kinetics. Creative Bioarray can provide one-stop solution for cell cycle analysis. We can handle different type of cell samples, like fixed, permeabilized, and for live or dead discrimination in intact cells, live proliferating cells, treated tissues. Call us today at 631-626-9181 or email us at info at creative com for a quotation or if any questions. Our customer service representatives are available 24 hour a day. Thank you.